Hey everybody, Steve here for Took My Dice Miniature War Gaming. How are things today? Uh, so this video came about because of an event I was told about the other day. Now I'm not going into great detail, no names, and I'm not even going to be talking about the event. It's a common thread that I see from time to time. So a general overview, uh, a gentleman that I've gamed with no longer feels like gaming. I'm pretty much done with it for what I'm, I'm told. And the reason why is because another guy that we game with, or that I've gamed with, has been pushing uh, for sort of playing playing games of Warhammer 40,000 the way he wants to be played. Apparently they're large games, they go on for hours, very, very competitive. Now, nothing wrong with that. And it's not even, I'm not, and it that got to me a bit, not because of the event this particular event in question, it happens. But the fact that it did happen, that sounds weird. It's not the fact that this specific event happened, that, be, but that it ha does happen, and it has happened, and will happen again. <coughs> Excuse me. So, what I want to talk about is gaming etiquette. And it, it actually gets into pretty some, some pretty deep stuff. And a part of it is the paradox that I've always seen it's with lots of different groups, but may, uh, heavily with, with uh, the hobby, the wargaming community is. And, and it's this. This hobby, it belongs to everybody. But it also belongs to everybody. Now, I know it sounds kind of weird. Like, where is that? Where are you going with that? So, it, it's... Let me explain it. So, <clears throat> excuse me. It belongs to everybody in the fact that it's a global community, whether it's it's a community of, you know, in your local area or your local, you know, whether it, uh, it, it's it's between cities, uh, hell, on YouTube, worldwide, like something like Games Workshop or Privateer Press, and it's played worldwide, you know, YouTube, connected with you guys. It belongs to all of us. Um, that's why companies can come and go and we'll always war game because that, that, that belongs to us. It's something that we all can can talk together and it unite us and keep us, you know, energized about it. We constantly talking, sharing ideas. But it also belongs to everybody. And that means you and me and this guy and that guy and that guy and this guy. We all have our own way of interpreting and dealing with the hobby. Uh, in whatever form you want it to be in, we all do our own thing. We all want to play our own way. And it, it, you know, some people treat it as black and white, whether you're you're a tournament player or you're not. But it's far more complicated than that. <clears throat> you have casual players, you have tournament players, you have fluff players, you have people that that just paint. That's all they want to do. You have people who just collect the models and paint them up and put them on displays. You have people who who go to to things like um, Golden Demon or whatever other sort of painting competitions you want. There's a whole bunch of different ways. And we, each, and we can get wrapped up in how we perceive it. I mean, I've done it too. Everybody has. I, I'm, I'm a casual gamer. I, I like to design my armies based on aesthetic and how, and how they do. Excuse me, I got a little, um, little cough still. <coughs> I mean, I want my armies to be successful. I'm competitive enough. I like to... Um, I like to win, like anybody else does, but I like to have fun with it. I like to tell a story with the table I'm on, with the way the game works. I, that's that's my thing. There are other guys I've known who are full-on tournament players. They they uh, there was one gentleman when I was working Games Workshop, absolutely fantastic tournament player, and he followed all the rules for it. When he played at a tournament Games Workshop, he had to have three colors. It'd be based. He had the dry brush special, so he had three colors dry brushed on him. It was based. When he, his whole army to, was put together coherently, it looked great. It really did. And um, when, uh, but this guy was a tournament player, but he was really cool about it. He had helped me play, uh, learn how to play a uh, Warhammer Fantasy better when I started working there, because that was my weak point at that point when I started working Games Workshop the first time. And he wanted people to have fun. There were other guys there that were super competitive, and that, not to make them sound bad, there's nothing wrong with being super competitive. And they won a tournament, and they won, and they wanted to win, and that was their thing. Nothing wrong with that. It's when you start kind of jumping between groups. You always have to be aware 
of the people around you. And that's what happened in this event. You had one one guy who, I want the game this way. I want to play these big games. I want to be competitive, which is fine. Again, I'm not trying to brag, drag on anybody. If you play fluffy games, if you're a casual gamer, if you are a hardcore, full-on, aggressive power gamer who likes tournaments, that is all super cool. I'm not ragging on any of that. If that's where you are, more power to you. That's awesome. What I'm trying to say, and this is where the two of them kind of have to co coexist, where it's everybody's hobby and it's everybody's hobby. You always have to be aware of, <coughs> excuse me, aware of the people you're playing with. And you always should try and keep an open mind as to what you're playing. Now, if you really love tournaments, go find people who play tournaments. That's that's what you do, right? That's, oh, that's what everybody says. Steve, I'll just find people who play tournaments. But you should always keep in mind that not everybody you're going to meet wants to play the same way. Keep an open mind. Maybe they just want to have a small 500-point game uh, so they can play with some stuff they don't play with. Or maybe they don't have time for you know a three, four, five-hour game. Maybe they want just a quick hour-long game. Just to have some fun, just to kill some time, just to sit and chat while they're playing. And that's cool too. That's that's what I like to do sometimes. And unfortunately, it's really what I have time for. An hour long game. A quick, you know, 500, 700, 750 point game. Uh, 40k, I'm, I'm, I'm using an example here. And then you just get it done, have some fun. But not everybody wants to play that way. So say someone comes to my house and says, Steve, I want to have a, like a, a 1500 point tournament style game. You know what? I'll be down for it. Now, if they come over to my house every time and say that, I'll be like, hey, let's try something new. And hopefully they reciprocate. Basically, what I'm trying to get at, guys, is because this hobby belongs to all of us, let's keep an open mind. Let's not just drive home what we want. Let's leave room in our collective gaming conscious for everything. Oh, and you know what? It actually, to me anyways, this is my opinion, okay? I think it opens up your mind and makes things a bit more fun and, and in generally better for everybody if you keep an open mind and want to play different games. Now, I'm not saying you have to fully adopt it, but try it. If you're if you're a, 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 a player who likes fluffy games based on something you read in a book and you built an army that looks really cool but doesn't do very well, try building a tournament list, right? You never know. You might you might end up you might end up uh, just loving it. Same with someone who plays tournament armies all the time. Try something fluffy. Try something a bit more casual. You never know. You might actually find it fun because you're not always going needing everything to perform at optimal levels and get its points back and all that. But yeah, so th this is what kind of th that is the, that's the event that kind of set this whole thing off. It just seemed to me one guy wasn't sort of respecting what everybody else wanted, and it's great that this guy's a tournament player, but not everybody wants to play tournaments. It's great this guy. It's a fluffy guy. Or just casual, and but not everybody wants to casual. So at the end of the day, guys, what I'm trying to say here, sorry, I'm, I'm, my voice is starting to go soon. <clears throat> Let's keep an open mind to every style of play, and make sure that that you, you leave that you leave an open mind for it, right? You never know where you might actually, uh, you know, learn something. You might enjoy something else. It's a great way to, to, to open ourselves up to other possibilities in, the, in the, the, the hobby world. So just enjoy it, right? But always make sure it's a little bit of etiquette. Make sure you're, you're being considerate about other people's desires in, in the hobby world. And maybe more stuff like this can be avoided because the guy, the guy who played the game, cool guy. He has a fantastic table. And now he's be kind of pushed out of it. And, and you know, you can say, okay, well, maybe he should have spoke up. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. I don't know all the details. I'm only going when I heard, and I may not be being, being told the whole story. I don't know. But so I'm not going on specifics on that. But I've seen events that like, happen that, like that happened before, and they'll probably happen again. So, guys, let's just be mindful of each other. Help each other enjoy the hobby. Always try something new. Expand your horizons. I'm going to leave it there. I just want to say my piece on this. Uh, if you, you know, you got any, uh, any, anything you want to add, any comments, you completely disagree with me, you think I'm off my rocker, let me know in the description below, or the description, in the comments below, and as always guys, keep rolling those dice, we'll see you later.